All right, things now about to get even more wild at the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo after the sun goes down. Erica Meyer is here to explain good morning to you. Good morning to you. Uh, also here with special guest Tank, who I am very afraid of right now. I just now sat down next to Tank. Is Tank's getting kind of squirmy. He is a little squirmy. He's My hands are a little bit cold and he does like it a little bit warmer, so he's a little squirmy, but he is a great lizard. He is an African okay. plated lizard and he's actually 23 years old. Wow. And that means he's one of the oldest African plated lizard in captivity. He's been around for a while. He's been around a long time. Okay. He is uh, from Africa normally, but he lives at our zoo in the loft, which is a great place for kids to explore during the day or, like you mentioned, at night. Very nice. Let's talk about that. The zoo getting wild uh, after mm -hmm. dark here. Uh, what are some certain ways that's going to happen? Yeah, we have two night programs at the zoo, and they go year around. Um, but wintertime is a really fun opportunity for people to get scheduled for those. We have two programs. One's called Moonlight Safaris okay. and the other one's called Wild Nights. And Moonlight Safaris, kids come at 6 p.m. Sure. with their families okay. and it's till 9 p.m. and they can tour the zoo at night with our member of our education staff. They get a special dinner and um, they just get the opportunity to see what it's like and how the animals behave after everyone else leaves. Now here are some photos right now we're mm -hmm. checking out. Oh, there they go. Okay, of uh, one of those uh, evening events here. Yeah. Do the animals come alive more at night? Do they get more uh, I guess rowdy at night? Yeah, we, we have several nocturnal animals um, at the zoo and really you know after everyone leaves um, some of the animals even that are uh, awake during the day get more active because it gets cooler during the summer okay. um, and so it's really fun to explore and it's a little bit quieter so some of them are a little bit more outgoing at night um, and then our wild night program is actually an opportunity for kids to spend the whole night right. at the zoo with wow, their family. Wow, the whole night. Mm -hmm. Do you camp there? Yeah, they, is that um, what you do? they get a dinner, they get s'mores, they get an evening tour, they spend the night and then they wake up, get a breakfast and a morning tour of the zoo. Very nice. Okay, so how much do these experiences cost? The moonlight safaris um, start at 20, 25 for our members, okay. and then 25, 25 for non-members, and then Wild Nights to spend the whole night at the zoo starts at 35, 25 for our members, and 45, 25 for non-members. Wow. We've got pre-scheduled days that you can go to our website and check out for both of those events, or if you have your own small or large group, you can call our education staff, and they can find a date that will work for you to have a private Moonlight Safari or Wild Night. What a great time to spend the night in the zoo. Mm -hmm. I bet you hear a whole bunch of sounds. You, you do. Yeah. The lions roar at night, which wow. is really, really special to hear and we just have so many other special animals okay. that so they you can said, experience. You said check the website for, for the next uh, dates coming up, right? Yep, yep. Okay. September 27th is our next Moonlight Safari and the next overnight that's already pre-scheduled is October 11th. What's the website? cmzoo.org. Okay, very cool. There you go. Erica, thank you so much. Tank, thank you. I didn't, I didn't touch him. That's I'm, all right. I'm too scared. Well, maybe next time you'll be a little bit braver and that's just fine. <laughs> okay, thanks for calling me what out. A chicken. Okay. <laughs> thanks, Tank. Thanks, Erica. Somebody now, uh, we're going to go to weather, is that right?